storm cleanup continues for the second day following the high winds and rain that swept Western Mass Wednesday night. Good afternoon and thank you for joining us here on Western Mass News at 5. I'm Jordan Jagelinzer. Several communities still grappling with power outages as national grid workers say cleanup is expected to take days. Western Mass News reporter Audrey Russo joins us now with the latest. Audrey. We're here on Loudville Road in East Hampton where traffic is back to normal. The road is open again after a day of crews working on downed power lines. Earlier in the day we were in Orange where much of the North Main Street section of town was without power and the road was impossible to drive on because of all the downed power lines and trees. North Main Street in Orange continues to clean up not only the damage incurred by the storm, but the fallout of weakened trees coming down nearly two days after the winds. Do you have power right now? No. There have been numerous pleas from the town of Orange Police Department asking people not to clear branches on their own, captured here on our Western Mass News Sky Drone. But residents are getting anxious for things to return to normal. I'm helping clean up the mess because they won't be here for days because there's just so much mess. I'm doing it on my own. Trees are everywhere, so. John Moore, owner of Maple Grove Farms, says the prolonged loss of power has put him at risk of losing product from his beef operation. Well, we had to buy a generator to keep all the freezers full of meat. We took my fence for the cows all down. Though Moore's ties to Orange are historic. Our family's been in town since 1730s. So. He says this storm is one for the history books, even two days later. This is up near the top, but I've also seen them close to it, so it's going to be a mess. Coming up on Western Mass News at 6, we'll have more on the damage here in East Hampton as members of different communities respond to the length of time it's taken for utility crews to get things back to normal. Reporting live in East Hampton, Audrey Russo for Western Mass News.